Hey everyone, this is Michael Mana, and welcome to the T4 Show. In today's video, we are going to unbox and test the Richard Solo freewheeling, leave the G off, audio system for helmets, but it's also for vehicles and your desktop using Bluetooth technology. So this should be pretty cool. I uh, recently bought a bicycle and I do have a helmet off camera here uh, to install the audio system, but also I want to try some... Uh, some test on the desktop to see how it works with my Retina Display MacBook Pro and what the audio quality sounds like. So let's open it up here. Already used the battery unboxing knife to get this thing open, at least part of the way. Let's get it out. I forgot to get two parts of that. So this um, audio system, it's a little bit on the pricey side because you can attach it to your bike helmet, uh, and also put it in your vehicle and use it as a desktop speaker. So comes in a little high at $150. So if your price range or if you're trying to be budget conscious, this could be a little bit too high for you. But, I mean, depending upon the quality, may be uh, worth every penny. So here we have the, uh, these are the speakers, I believe, and this one is the pack right there with the Bluetooth, and this one is... I believe a stand so let's just take it out here feels pretty lightweight to begin with I'm gonna look right here on the box and yes there's a little stand for your desktop there's where the uh, Bluetooth come from this these are the speakers picture the iPhone and you can see has instructions to put it on the helmet so let's uh, <laughs> definitely want to read those I don't want this thing falling off so let's just take it out here, take a look. You have Velcro right here. Also, we have a 3.5 jack right there. And it does come with a cable. I'll take it out in a second. Let's go to the speakers. Here we have what I believe to be volume over here on one end. And here I believe this is the power button. So let's see if the power's on. There you go. All right, so now here it's in pairing mode, so I'm gonna take my iPhone out first and pair it. Make sure I have a uh, Bluetooth on. And make sure it sees it. So I already have two things to pair up here. There it is, freewheeling. Let's pair it up. See if we need to put a passcode in. I don't think so. There we go. We're connected. Okay. So before we go on to the helmet, let's just go to the simple stuff here and see about putting it right here on the dock. Here we have place right here. It sticks right there. And That'll stick right there. It's not Velcro. It basically just tacks into place. Like so. So I'll put it right there. And let's play something from audio real quick and see what it sounds like. I like that little stand. That's pretty cool right there. Let's turn it up. There we go. Doesn't sound too bad. I'm going to bring it up to my microphone so you can hear it. Let's go to the... Not too bad at all. Okay, before we get sued, let's uh, shut that off. I'm going to go here from the bottom of the box, and uh, here we have uh, an application for the, uh, for the helmet, so we may have to come back and do that and see what that feels like and looks like. And also, it comes with the 3.5 millimeter jack here. Uh, so let's plug that in there, and all, of course, you can charge it using USB. And... 
pretty unique. It doesn't have a uh, micro or mini. You plug it in, I guess, into the into the 3.5 jack and then USB and it powers from that. So pretty unique way to charge uh, this audio system. So let's just uh, try it with the wires hooked up here. Like I said, uh, you know, these unboxings, I, I like to do them completely live rather than trying to edit all of them out just so I can get a real ex feel for the experience of opening it up and just plugging everything in and doing it. All right, so I plugged it into the iPhone. Let's try it again. That is a lot louder. A lot louder than the Bluetooth, and that's pretty good. So that I can plug it in and use it as a wired speaker as well, not just Bluetooth. I like that. I have the choice, or if the batteries run dead, I can just wire it up and use them as external speakers on that too. So not too bad. So let's, um, let's hook it up to my helmet and come back and see what it looks like on the bike helmet. Okay, so here we have the bike helmet, and installation was uh, very easy. All I had to do was uh, remove this tape, and basically this is the other side, the applicator, just like on the, uh, on the stand, which is off camera here, had the same type of application where it sticks on to the helmet. Uh, it took less than three minutes to do, including the 20 to 30 seconds to hold for each adhesive on the helmet. You can see right here, there's the back part there. Bluetooth is on. There's one speaker there. There's one speaker there. Now, what I like about this is it's also a Bluetooth speakerphone, so you can answer calls, uh, yeah, you know, and hear them and all that stuff. So I like the fact that it's not just a speaker system as far as listening to music and podcasts and stuff like that, but you, you can use it as a Bluetooth device for calls as well. So that could be worth the $150 right there. But just for this, if you are somebody that rides your bike a lot and wants some wireless audio, and remember to wear your helmet, of course, this will be an excellent solution. I will give you an update and a future product update video uh, probably next week on how this is working because I'm going to probably take it out today or tomorrow and start riding around and seeing uh, how the audio stays because some of these Bluetooth devices when they're synced up to the iPhone and you put it in your pocket or in your backpack or whatever uh, things like the Jaybird uh, JF3 seem to disconnect uh, very often so hopefully won't have that problem with the uh, Richard Solo Freewheelin audio system for helmets your vehicle as well as your desktop so looking forward to reviewing this want to thank Richard and Paul for sending it out to me and stay tuned for more updates on this cool device. But for now, for everybody here at the T4 Show, thank you and best of luck in all your future Bluetooth bike riding endeavors.